what we call GEM, the acronym stands for, you know, we're big with acronyms at Jada Foundation, and GEM means Jamaica Emergency Medical Service in the Grill. And some people may say, you know, why, why, why are you going to the Grill to do the service? You know, Spanish town needed, that, you know, Portmore needed, Mandeville needed, you know, all these places need emergency medical services. Why did you go to the Grill? And I'll tell you the reason why is that you go where you want, where you want it, right? Yeah. Um, it's good to be passionate about, I'm from Christiana, Manchester, and it's nice to be passionate about where you're from. But you know, Jamaicans, we're very tribal. If we're from a certain area, we want to big up the area all the while, which is good. But um, when we went to the Grill, the Grill Chamber of Commerce, you know, with uh, Mr. Richard Wallace at the time, introduced me to Mr. Lee Bradley. I did the Grill Chamber of Commerce, and she's also part of the, the Rotary Club of the Grill. And they were, willing to partner with us and they all the projects we do we do it with them and they put their financial support behind it and sometimes it's hard to find in Jamaica the hearts will is sometimes and sometimes the funds aren't available so this is a pilot program we decided to do and four years ago actually we um, had some uh, paratroopers from, um, from Israel who came down to Jamaica and they trained uh, 25 local volunteers and these volunteers were as far as firefighters who didn't know EMS and police officers and other healthcare workers and some teachers too who wanted to do for their community. And we chose 25 of them, and they were in the grill area for one month. Uh, we fed them through the foundation, so this year some of our fund, funding goes towards providing these kind of services. We fly professionals down there so they can offer the services and train locals to become first responders. So they can see a car accident on the road, and it's at a foundation ambulance pull-up. These volunteers are trained, they have DLS and ACLS training, and they can get you on the ambulance and get you safely to a, a hospital and get you the care that you need in a timely manner. And I don't think it's fair to say that we have enough ambulances in Jamaica. So, so because of that, we're trying to fill, fill the void. And right now we have an ambulance in Jamaica that we're still trying to um, work out the custom duties to get this on the island. And I understand our customer will be struggling with this because this is a new concept for them uh, that a charity would want to come down and not just give a, an ambulance to the Ministry of Health or the Fire Brigade, but we want to run our own EMS system. We're here in the States and we believe our volunteer EMS system has something that can work. We believe there are enough people in communities in Jamaica who believe that they want to volunteer and do for the community. And we strongly believe in the Jamaican people, so we're going to, we know it's going to be a success. Mm -hmm. So we brought the first ambulance with the fundraising dollars that we, we had from all the galas. And at this gala, we're hoping that we will raise enough funds to so buy another ambulance. I mean, one ambulance is not enough for an EMS system, as you know. So, or, or a medical, medical, emergency medical services, one ambulance is not enough. So we want to get a series of ambulances. And the Grill Chamber of Commerce, again, stepped up big time. And he said, you know what, we've just allotted you a piece of land that we want you to put this depot for your emergency medical services. So when you're not working, we have a safe place to store the ambulances. We can do some workshops, we can teach people how to do first aid. And, and this is what I'm talking about, why in the grill? Because of the leadership in the grill believe in a better Jamaica and they believe that it's the citizens of Negro and the people who work in these hotels deserve the same care as anyone else in the world. And they have decided to invest in the Jada Foundation as we go on this, on this venture together. To what extent would you say that you have managed to uh, prepare your volunteers for the, the kind of service that you would be calling upon them to, to assist in? Well, well, that's a very good question because uh, there's, a, there's an article I've written in the, in the newspaper recently that um, uh, people are bringing students, <laughs> people are bringing students to Jamaica to work and perform um, tasks that they wouldn't perform in the United States, almost like an experimental thing in Jamaica. The, 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 the issue of big uh, in the diaspora as far as dental care. Now. I can assure you that not just my team, but Dr. Roy Street, all the team that I know. Um, we go through the proper documentation from the Ministry of Health. Um, every, all the volunteers before they arrive in Jamaica have to pr uh, provide all their documentation saying that they're um, trained. And not only are they trained, we don't bring anyone who's not a medical doctor. There's no students that come down here and working on patients, okay? They're all medical licensed doctors and they're being supervised by doctors who have been doing it for 25, 30 years. And there's, there's always a one-to-one um, supervision of everyone who's here. So there's no loose cannon. 
there's no leak in the system. Hold on, I'll give you an opportunity yes. just to come back on that point. Let's take the break and come back. We're at the Dumpling Shop, 34 or 35 Baychester Avenue in uh, the Bronx in New York.